Well, um, hello there, and, uh, today I'm here I got is a, uh, cheap, uh, 500 watt halogen floodlight I picked up. Um, uh, wasn't one that's been sitting on the shelf for some time. I had one of those PRI units, the, the ones you walk past and they turn on automatically, but where it was mounted, it had snapped off. You can see where the screws were. It's, uh, the, this alley, die-cast alley material had snapped off, and I didn't need that anyway, because what I've done with this, I've removed that, what I've done with this is I've put a 70 watt metal halide lamp instead of a the standard, um, 500 watt halogen lamp it came with as they're the same length. So I did I did that so this lamp in there is a let's get the focus. It's a 70 watt metal here light made in People's Republic of China. It's, I've I, it's seen a bit of use. I've got my uh, ballast here. So you know, it's Tridonic Atco ballast and a uh, nice uh, there and um this is all wired up to a cord and there it is again inside this cheap floodlight material is quite thin it's alley all right um well with that said let's turn it on my very here turn my very there we go that's 240 and uh Switch her on. Let's see what she does. She's warming up. You can hear the, ign the ignite is buzzing away there. Fifty out of flicker. It's glowing blue. The outer glass is glowing blue because it's the um, quartz envelope. It's doped. I forget which material it is, but it's doped with a material that blocks UV and, that, and it fluoresces blue. Although the camera um, picks it up green, it's got a slight greenish hue. Like this is in the mercury stages before the halides have evaporated, or and um, so the camera picks up green. But, uh, it's bluish green, mercury green, you know. Uh, but the, the halides are kicking in. It's a bit greener than the standard um, clear mercury lamp. So I think this is, I can't say this probably, but T H I L D I M, I think. Um, thidium? I can't say it properly, but it's, uh, it's the green component in um, metal halide lamps. It's the element that lights up, it's the metal halide that would. That's green. So in a green metal halide lamp, that's what you'd find. Or in, uh, or in this case here, because you got you got blue, green, and red, and uh, that makes white light. There's other also other halides in here to make the arc stable and add a bit of extra color rendering and more efficiency. I'm not too sure of the specific chemistry of this light bulb though. This particular one. As you can see, it's right, it's run up. It's running up. It's a uh, this one's a uh, CRI is about seventy with a color temperature of three thousand K, and uh, she's bright or quite intense at least. The camera doesn't seem to mind too much though. I would expect a lot more fifty hertz flicker. If I'm honest. There you go, it's running up. She's running up. Uh, nice and bright too. Uh, yep, just showing you some more. So there she is. She's fully run up, and um, yeah, and my system. I've got the earth connected. It's got a little carry handle. I'm gonna obviously improve on this. This was just rigged up to test, and. Uh, yeah. 
looks a bit like the American floodlights because uh, I saw an unboxing of American 150 watt version of this, and the they have the wires just coming out, no junction box. They just you know wire at it, so that was quite interesting. Um, the um, yeah. I had a look inside the PAR, the PIR sensor unit, and it wasn't very, the, the um, it wasn't very uh, safe, if I, would, in my opinion. You know, though there is a relay in there, which makes a nice click. I tested it before I completely removed the thing. Anyways, might do something with that in the future. Don't know what though. Most likely, probably will be end up in the bin sometime soon. The PIR unit that is. It's a stupid nasty thing. Ten quid. Or ten pounds, which is about fifteen dollars. So, so, um, there you go. Um, this is light bulb fun. And, uh, lights out.